perfect. He had a real nice movement. That one dropped down nicely. Yep. Turn it off. There you go. There you go. Okay. The first offering from Albertson up top, and they'll appeal that. He did not go. Take a look at it. And that's the perfect angle. He did not go. 1-0. So we have some imperfect angles here at Hackett's. That was a perfect angle to make that call. That went down low to Deutsch, and it's 2-0. Nowhere to put him, Scott. Ooh. Not the smoothest of motions from Albertson, but a very high leg kick from a very tall pitcher. Yeah, he's a long drink of water, he is. much like Keglovitz, and He's halfway home when he releases the ball. Now the 2-1 gets a swing on an off-speed offering to Deutsch. Now 2-2. Two and two. I really liked what I saw out of him last night. Big pitch. Gets him. Called strike three on the outside corner. Well, if I liked what I saw last night, Ooh. I certainly liked what I saw there. Fell behind 2-0. and oh. Watch where even the location is terrific. Look at that, right on the outside corner. And that's up Pat Laudenbach. Laudenbach one for three with an RBI single in the fifth. Yeah. Albertson hits the outside corner and jumps on top 0-1 oh, to Laudenbach. Base is loaded. Now the defense drops back looking for a double play ball. You're probably hoping by this point that you're getting play-by-play -play hourly wow. wage. Wow. You have been in charge of these three innings for I a thought, long time. I thought time. your innings were ugly. <laughs> the 1-1 one, one from Albertson. Fouled back. 1-2. When I left the house today, I said to my wife, I won't be as late as last night. I think that's going to be a lie. <laughs> Boy, this had all the earmarks of a spectacular baseball game. Two good teams in the final with pitching left. The one-two, swing and a miss. Albertson has struck out the first two batters he's faced with the bases loaded in relief. Well, if we have seen pitchers struggle tonight, Albertson at the moment is not on that list. He has come in to fire BBs. Maybe the most velocity we've seen out of all the pitchers. What? What better to do on a Saturday afternoon? Well, here we go. Top of the seventh inning for Nazareth. It's Brett Hallman who steps in. He is 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts and grounded into a double play. 
He looks at strike one, and now he looks at strike two. Albertson was very effective, Gary. Made one mistake in relief in the sixth inning, allowing the double to Kadiska. But he has shown some stuff out there. All those runs were charged to Bertolotti. Count one, two now. The line score, 11 runs, nine hits, four errors, and six runners left on base by Nazareth. Nine runs, six hits, four errors, and five runners left on base for Liberty. They only have three errors up on the board, but I think we have them for four. I stopped counting, <laughs> just out of respect for the game. Scott, we just retired the first batter in the inning, fourth. That's when McCarthy was cruising. Yeah, and then the next two innings they did. Strike one to Guy Tanello. He's officially one for two on the night. He was hit by a pitch. That turned out to be a big play, and he was walked. Scored a couple of runs. And he started the uh, big sixth inning when they put up four. 1-1. One, one. Albertson's job now, hold them right here. If you are looking ahead to the Canes, they will have batters 5-6-7 to lead off the seven. Nice play. That's Pete DeLand, but he throws a ball low again. When was the last time we saw a kind of a normal inning? Strike one. We are redefining normal. <laughs> Low. Like scoots away. Garzilla certainly doesn't want to be. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, I was just going to say Garzilla playing it smart by not wanting to be the second out. And with that said, Keglovitz gets picked off of first base. Carl thought Garzilla was going down to third, found himself halfway to second, and way off the bag, an easy out down at first. We'll get a look at it here. Good heads up play by James Bertolotti. One two now to Shepard with two outs and a runner on second, one run in. Nazareth will have their prom tomorrow night. That's why there was some concern about moving everything to Thursday, Friday. Oh, well, that will be a strikeout, which will end a rather